Welcome to my tutorial on setting up your own vanilla Minecraft server. Uh, let's get started. Right click your desktop, click new, click folder. We're going to name this folder for tutorial purposes Minecraft vanilla server. Alright, as you can see there's nothing in the folder. So we're going to open up Google and type in Minecraft and go to Minecraft's main web page. Uh, as you can see down here in the bottom right corner, play Minecraft beta. You're going to click download and that's going to take you to their download page. Uh, this is assuming you already have the Minecraft game installed. So you're going to scroll to the bottom where it says multiplayer beta server software. Now uh, for those of you that are familiar with the servers you can do the minecraft server jar but i suggest if you're not totally familiar with minecraft servers to download the minecraft server.exe so we're going to save that i'm going to minimize this uh, i'm going to open the folder where it's saved to and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it in our folder we created on the desktop called minecraft vanilla server uh, next we're going to double click and start Minecraft server. Uh, for now you can pretty much ignore everything in this GUI. Uh, we're just going to let it load to 100% and then we're just going to close it. So it's done. We're going to close that out. Uh, next you'll see uh, it created all these files and folder here automatically. So uh, we want to go to the server properties file. There's a server file above it. Uh, that one's not the one we want. We want server properties file. So we're going to open that. Uh, not everybody will have it automatically set to open with uh, notepad. So we're going to right click it and click open with and select our notepad program. So these are our server properties file. Uh, for now, we can pretty much leave everything at default. Uh, what we're going to concentrate on here is entering your server IP address. Uh, so we're going to leave this open. We're going to come down to the start button and type in CMD and hit enter. Uh, and then it brings up the DOS command prompt. So what we're going to type in the DOS command prompt is IPCONFIG, IPConfig, and you're going to hit enter. Now uh, it's going to bring up a bunch of information that I don't really want to make public, so I created a picture of uh, pretty much what it would look like, uh, but there would be a lot more information here normally, so I just kind of fix this up. So here we can see my local IP address uh, 192, 168, 1, 101. So that's my IP address. So we're going to go back to the server properties file and we're going to enter my IP address 192.168.1.101. Uh, next we're going to click file, save, and then we're going to close that. Uh, so next we want to come up here to the ops text document file and open it. As you can see it's uh, blank and what this file is going to do is tell your server who is the operator of your server, who is the admin. Uh, so we want to make that you. So we're going to enter our uh, in-game Minecraft in-game name in here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Mine's DeerHunter101 then we're going to click file save we're going to close that and we're going to open our minecraft server again as you can see here it says starting minecraft server on 192.168.1.101 on port 25565 port 25565 is the default port for running minecraft so we have our server running so let's go ahead and start up our game Click log in. Uh, now we're going to click multiplayer. Uh, not everybody's is going to have something in there, so some of you might have it blank. So now we're going to enter our IP address 192.168.1.101. .1 .1 
and we're going to connect and as you can see we are now within our very own game server this is the vanilla minecraft game server uh, so the next thing we want to do is as you can see Uh, a little bit of lag since it just started up, but there it goes. Okay, so the next thing we want to check is to make sure that we are the operator uh, or the admin of our server. And the way I usually t do to test that is I type slash kick space and your username, Dear Hunter 101 And as you can see, I've been disconnected by server, kicked by admin. So that tells us that we are definitely the operator of the server. So next thing I'm going to go over uh, is we're going to go back and go to Google again and we're going to type in what is my IP and hit enter and generally any of these will pretty much do the same thing. Uh, click one and you'll see my IP address is 75129161203. This is the IP you're going to give to people to connect to your server who aren't on your local LAN. Uh, you know, and over the internet, this is going to be your external IP that you give to people. Now, you don't need to give the port to everybody, but sometimes you might. So you might need to give them the 25565 port. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I think that just about covers everything. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead, feel free to post. I will answer them ASAP. And if I've missed anything major, uh, I will make a second video. Thank you for watching.